Hey there YouTube fans, AC Productions here and today I'm going to be showing you on how to make your old riding gloves touch screen compatible again. Now do you have a set of gloves that you love? Like for me I have these Alpine Star gloves and I love them especially for like warmer riding times like summer, spring, maybe early fall or whatnot. Uh, these these are great. I mean I love them because they, you know they're like really like flexible and you could feel the controls and still be protected by the knuckles and everything. Uh, for the gloves, but over time as you can see that uh, the touchscreen capability that it came with Starts to wear out so as you can see it's already kind of gone there So when I'm riding when I touch the screen it doesn't do anything because there's nothing there for it to um, To move the screen around then also as you could see you know over here. It's already coming apart Same thing with these ones. Uh, it's it's this one's like non-existent as you could see so uh, I was looking all over the internet to see if I could find something that I actually can put back on the fingers to make them touch screen compatible again. And I found one item as you could see here in this picture. But uh, after looking at the reviews and asking people what they think about it, it, it was kind of bad reviews from there. So as I was looking out further and further, I came across this product called Nano Tips. And what it is, it's almost like a, it looks like kind of like a nail polish and uh, you apply it onto the the finger and then according to the instructions here all you're pretty much going to need for tools are going to be a heat gun so uh, apply it uh, then use the heat gun for to let it dry for a few minutes and then it looks like you're able to uh, you know use your phone or your gps system uh, after it's dry all right so let's remove it out of the package all right so it comes with this uh pretty small bottle and then inside, I think there's probably instructions, but I doubt that you're going to need instructions because you're watching this video on how to do it anyway. But let's take a little quick look at it, and it's pretty self-explanatory. Shake it, apply it, dry it, and then you're able to use it. So that's the instructions. Put that off to the side. All right, so let's first things first, let's grab our glove. And then you pretty much want to apply it uh, pretty much to this finger or however many fingers you use to uh, use on your phone or your GPS. So let's go ahead and uh, shake this. So upon shaking this little bottle, it's I don't feel it like it's actually doing anything inside because I feel like it might be really thick liquid in there. So, you know, when you shake things, you could feel the liquid moving around. On this one, I don't feel any liquid moving around. So I'm going to kind of guess that this liquid is very thick. All right, so just make sure that your the surface you're going to apply it is kind of is clean, that there's no, like, dust or anything because I'm not sure if it actually applies black or if it applies clear. If it applies clear on your black glove, you're going to, if whatever dust you have on your your glove, it's going to show through. So definitely want to make sure that, uh, that it's uh, kind of clear of any debris. So let's go ahead and uh, do that real quick. I'll just dust it off camera here. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and open it and apply it. Oh yeah, it's a black. It's a black uh, liquid. All right, so it is like a, a nail polish style. So let's go ahead and put that on there. All right, and it even smells like nail polish. All right, so I'm just gonna pretty much uh, apply it like like so, like pretty much around here. You may have to keep. Uh, looks like you have to keep dipping it into the solution here and apply it. To get it on the camera for you guys to see what I'm doing. So it almost feel like I'm I'm painting. There. All right. So just make sure you put enough on there. Make sure you get the whole width of the finger that you're applying it on on the glove. And then once you're done applying it, they're gonna whip out that uh, heat gun and and then dry it. I think that looks about good. Well, let me just make sure you get the whole coverage of the finger. So as you can see, there it is. I got the whole finger there. I'm just going to get the touch up on the edges a little bit. And I think that should be good enough. All right, so now let's get out the, the heat gun and then give it a, a little bit of a dry. All right, now that we got our heat gun and we already got it plugged in, now let's go ahead and we'll put it on high. I'll say probably around this... Uh, Six to eight inches away from the glove should be good and just give it a good sweeping motion uh, as you're drawing it. So just keep doing this until you see it kind of dry. Let's put this away over there. Make sure you don't get it too close because you definitely don't want to be melting your gloves with the heat gun. 
If you're using a hair dryer, you could e either use it on heat or air dry. All right, with the miracle of the camera, we have already, uh, would say probably three to four minutes already has passed by. Just turned off the heat gun now. It looks like it's still a little bit wet right here, but I'm gonna put this off to the side. So while that one's a little bit dry, air drying, uh, we're gonna get to uh, this glove and apply the liquid onto uh, this finger. Okay, so same as before, you wanna grab this, give it a little bit of a shake. I don't know if it does anything. Like I said, it's kind of thick liquid. And let's go ahead and undo it, just like a nail polish. All right. Okay, let's just go ahead and apply it on the finger. And it's up to you on, on how much coverage you want to do. I'm just going to pretty much just mark it up to where this little white part is. And just cover that much. I don't think we're going to need any more than that. So just go ahead and apply it. Like I said, you just want to make sure that you get enough on there. If you need to, go ahead and dip the brush back into the bottle to get a little bit of more of the gel out to apply it to your glove. And then as soon as you're done applying it, then we're going to grab the heat gun again. And then all you're going to do, I'm not going to record that again, but all you're going to do is just pretty much six to eight inches away from your glove. You're going to apply the air or the heat and, uh, and then it should just dry after that. And then you could just probably put it off to the side or let it cool down a little bit. And then you're, we'll, we'll test it out and see if it really works. All right, so I think that's about it. I'm gonna put on there. I think I got a good enough coverage. The strongness of the smell, I would say it smells like nail polish, but it's not that strong like nail polish. So if you have a girlfriend or wife or, or a lady friend that uses nail polish when they're around you, you know how strong that stuff smells. So this has a smell like, like it, but it's not as strong like it. All right, so again, we're just gonna grab our heat gun six to eight inches away and give it a good sweeping motion up and down left and right on the air and then uh, we'll give it a test okay once you're done letting it dry uh when you get to it uh it should just kind of feel like there's something there like a, a texture feeling almost a little bit rubbery uh like yeah so that's what i'd say you could see in the camera you could actually see what part is actually painted and what parts the fabric so it should just have like a nice feel to it same thing with this one, but I think on this one I did, I put a little too much because it kind of got a little sticky. So if, if you got the same thing, uh, just you don't have to put a lot to make it work. So just like a light coating and then uh, just dry it off. If you did uh, put too much like I did, uh, let it dry and then just get a, a microfiber towel or a, a paper towel and kind of just uh, wipe away the, the access of the, the, the tackiness. So that one's good, this one's good. All right, so now the big test is going to be to actually test it out. Let's see if it actually works. And you know what guys, I totally forgot to actually show you a before of it not working, but I do have some parts of my glove here that don't have that, that uh, rubberiness or the tackiness. I think this one this one definitely doesn't have it. So I'll, I'll show you with uh, this finger uh, on, on how it was with this finger that it didn't work on, on the touch screen part. This one still has it a little bit, but this one doesn't, so I'll just show you that right now. All right, so let's go ahead and let's grab our cell phone here. It's going to go like that because it is a finger touch password part. So go ahead and put the glove on and let's test it out. All right, so this finger doesn't have any of that uh, texture stuff. So let's check with the phone. As you can see, nothing's happening. All right, so now that we have this one with the new textured liquid that we put on there, now let's see if that works. Oh, that's cool. It actually works. And you can actually feel the screen. It feels like rubbery. Uh, I think I'm marking my screen with the black stuff. I, like I said, I think I put too much on this one. But it's proven to work. So now I'm able to actually, you know, get to things. Let's, let's touch something. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, that works. Okay, push back. All right, works. Well, as you can see, the little mark there is because I think, I, like I said, I put too much of that liquid on there. All right, so we know that one works. All right, so now let's uh, go ahead and let's uh, put the other glove on and see if that one works. All right, so now we have uh, the other side on, and let's uh, go ahead and see if that one works. 
Oh yeah, definitely. This one feels a lot much better because I didn't put that much on this one. I only put like a light coating. And it definitely feels a lot better on the screen too. It doesn't feel like it's actually getting stuck a little bit like that one. So I may see if I can try to remove a little bit more of the of the gel off of this one. And just have it like this one. This one's a lot more lighter as you can see a lot lighter coating. Alright, so. Yep, let's uh, select something. Yep, works great. Cool. So I give this one a thumbs up. This actually really works. Alright. Well, that's awesome. All right, guys. Well, that pretty much concludes the the application of the the Nano Tips touchscreen liquid. Let's see right here. I'll have a link in the description below on where I purchased this one from, so you guys could get it. And that, and this works for any kind of glove, I would say. I mean, it, it doesn't have to be motorcycle gloves. If you have some working gloves that you kind of need some kind of like a, a grip or something, or like a rubber uh, on the fingertips or something. You know, to give you that little bit of extra grip when you're grabbing things. You could actually use this too. Uh, just the only thing is that this is black. So if you do are using it with like a uh, like a uh, beige color glove or something. Like a work, you know, gloves or something like that. The fingertips are going to be black. Uh, they don't sell this in a, in a clear coat. They only sell it in a black. Alright guys, well hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. That way you guys could be up to date. And, well, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification button. That way you guys are up to date with my latest videos when I post them. And thanks for watching.